Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to get the correlation coefficient and a regression equation for some paired XY data. This is using the TI-83 or 84. Now, the function used to get the correlation coefficient comes with the linear regression um, function. But you need to do something before you can actually get at this correlation coefficient. You, you have to do what is known as turning on the um, diagnostics, right? So I want to get the diagnostic on. And to get there, this is rather cryptic, so um, uh, follow along. But you, really, you only have to do this once. So if you can do it once, then you're set. So here's the idea. We're going to press second and then zero. That gets me to the catalog menu, all right? And what I'm looking for is the diagnostic on function. So I have to scroll down. And if I just keep going down, 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 and it'll take a little while. You can actually use your alpha button to get to D, but it won't take us that long. I'm just scrolling down, continuing, hoping to get to D's. There, I'm at the D's. I should be there soon. OK, so I have two things here. I have diagnostic off, diagnostic on. So I hit Enter for diagnostic on. And I'm going to hit Enter again. And it says done. That means the diagnostic is on, which for our particular purpose means that we will be able to see the correlation coefficient when we run the linear regression package. OK, so in order to do linear regression, I have to enter the data in the, in the form of lists. And there's an x list and a y list. And, and the first list will be x, and the second list will be y. And so what I have here is the um, temperature and cricket chirp data for the first example in chapter 10.2. Um, so to enter that, I'm going to hit stat, and then I'm going to hit enter for edit. Right? It's already on edit, so all I have to do is hit enter. And I have my list 1 and list 2. And notice list 1 corresponds to the temperatures, and list 2 corresponds to our chirps per minute. And if I wanted to do that, you know, I just, just type in 53. Enter, 62, enter, and then I go all, list all those out, switch over to my list 2, those are the y variables, and start at 20. So, so that's your x, 53 is your x, 20 is your y, that's one point. 62 is an x, 32 is the corresponding y, that's another point. Okay, and so once they're all in there, and that might take a little time, especially if you have a large data set, uh, it's really quite easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stat, I'm going to go to Calc, and I'm down there, number four, LinReg. That's for linear regression, AX plus B. So it's going to give me A and B, or the slope and the intercept, in the regression equation. And it'll also give me R and R squared. So I go down there, three, hit Enter. Now, if you have the 84, it actually prompts you for X list, Y list. If you actually have the 83, It'll have just lin reg ax plus b, and you have to put in list one comma list two. Uh, make sure you put the first variable you want to be your x value. But with the 84, it actually prompts you x list, so that's going to be l1. If that wasn't there, because I had nothing there, I would hit um, second and one, and that hits l1. But l1 and l2 have already have the data in there. I go to calculate. Bang, it does everything for me. The slope in AX plus B, A is the slope, is 4.07, if you're going to round to two decimals. And the intercept is negative 204.2, if you were going to round to one decimal place. So you have your slope, your intercept, R squared, and then there's the value of R, 0.9357. Right, so it does all that um, pretty quickly. The, uh, you know, the labor-intensive part is putting all the data into lists. And don't forget, if, by the way, if you do this and you don't see R squared and R, what that means is you didn't turn your diagnostics on. So you have to go back and follow these four steps. Make sure to turn the diagnostics on, and then your linear regression function will spit out R squared and R. All right, that's about it. Bye.